Agriculture is the key to Kenya's economy, and it is therefore a great field to explore. Did you know that you can successfully balance your career in agribusiness? Join me, the farmer on fire, as I walk with you through the journey to find out how. Get informed, educated, entertained as we make agribusiness attractive. The farmer on fire, setting farmers ablaze. Hi and welcome. Today we are discussing mushroom farming. To be specific, it's a crop that is grown indoors. You ask how? Well, I am meeting my friend Shalimba and he's going to tell us more on how you can make money, how you can save the planet through mushroom farming right on your backyard. Welcome Shalimba. Thank you. You're welcome to Jiku Farm. Yes. Um, my name is Franklin Shalimba. I'm a mushroom farmer. Yes. Uh, I do it here in Kiambu County, Kiamba, and then Jiku, Jiku area. Okay. Yeah. So tell us, how did you get into mushroom farming? How did you decide that this is the thing I want to start investing in? Where I, where I come from in Western Kenya, we used to eat a lot of mushroom during, during the month of April. Uh, my grandmother used to make for me a lot of mushroom. Okay. So when I moved to Nairobi, when I was in Nairobi trying to get mushroom, they were very expensive. Yes. So to how can I, I cannot buy mushroom which are very expensive and are back where I'm coming from, I get them from the forest. Yes. So I can, how can I uh, grow them? Okay. So I develop an interest that way. Okay. So slowly by slowly, I like one learning here and there. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up um, in Jekwat mm -hmm. to learn more about mushroom family. Okay. Yeah. And here I am today. Amazing, amazing to hear. So tell us, what varieties of mushrooms did you do you grow and how did you come to narrow down to only those two? Because we know there are thousands of varieties of mushrooms. And also people would like to know the mushrooms that they see uh, where they live, maybe in the forest and in ruin, anywhere else, are they edible as well? Not all the mushrooms are edible. Don't find a mushroom in the forest mm -hmm. and I go and pick and start eating. They might be poisonous. Yes. Uh, the way I narrowed down to oyster and button, yes. it is because of two things. Number one, oyster, mm -hmm. they're easy to cultivate. Yes. Don't go out and collect my mushrooms, uh, wild mushrooms from, yes. from any, any area. Mm -hmm. So let, just come with me and show you how you can cultivate them. So Shalimba, yes. where are we and why do we need a house to farm? Uh, because a mushroom, you need to cultivate them inside the, inside a, inside a house. Okay. Because uh, they don't have the thing that are to protect them against the sun. Mm. Because mushrooms, they are 80% water, so you, they need a shed. Uh, can be a mud house, can be a stone house. Uh, but you can use whatever you have. Why is it important? Is it about temperature control? What are the things that you need to have in mind to grow button mushrooms? You must have a place that you can control temperature. Okay. Because uh, mushrooms, they, they grow very well with a low temperature. Let's say between 15 and 18, mm -hmm. they grow very well. Okay. So you'll need a house whereby you can control the temperature. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, humidity. You have to control the humidity because it has to be around between 85 to 90 mm -hmm. or 95. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you control humidity? Humidity is the amount of water in the air, right? Yeah. For me, what I do, I pour water on the floor. Mm -hmm. I have uh, this water sprinkler, so they will, I will switch them on. The system. The system. Yes. And then uh, I'll leave them for some time. Okay. So by maybe after 30 minutes, the, the humidity will go up. Okay. Um, the required humidity, and then I switch them off. So a lot of people who have experimented on investing in mushroom farming mm -hmm. have been a uh, part of a, f a fraud that was happening a lot of people have also complained that it's very hard and complex to grow mushroom they have had premium tears from this venture what would you like to tell them those who tried and say this is the worst kind of investment number one uh, go and look for knowledge I go their institution which are they offer training mm -hmm. look for a farmer who is uh, more experienced mm -hmm. work with that farmer for maybe three sessions, uh, three seasons. This is a meaning from uh, from making of the compost to incubation to fruiting. 
and, uh, and then when they take them to the market. Okay. So when after the three cycle, yeah. you'll be very conversant about how to cultivate mushroom. Number two, think simple. Mm -hmm. Some people want to complicate so many things. They want to use uh, so many materials, mm -hmm. which uh, their crop will either fail, or even if they give, they get, they get something, they get something very little. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because my mushroom, they only need 2% of nitrogen. Okay. Yeah. So I know you train people and you even have a um, single mother's project here for your community yes. that you're trying to give back yes. and train them on how they themselves can be economically empowered by yes. becoming mushroom farmers. Yes. Tell us more about that. But before you get to that, let us know which institutions are training people and yourself as a trainer of mushroom farming. How do you do it? How, where do you start? Where do you end? And how can people get that information? Uh, okay, a lot of information first you can get them on, uh, on the internet. Yeah? Uh, you can get the, the information from Jake Watt. You can come from uh, to an organization called uh, M Mushroom Association of Kenya. Yes. Uh, where they, we have uh, farmers who are very experienced. They can help you to, or they can work with you uh, in this venture. Yeah, don't invest a lot of money by wanting to do mushroom because you hear that uh, people are making money. You can uh, join Mushroom Growers Association of Kenya because we have uh, so many farmers there who are very experienced. Mm. They will help you to, uh, they will work with you, they'll help you on how to go about this venture of mushroom. Okay. On the issues of, about the single mothers, you find that uh, there are so many mothers who either they don't have a job or they have this cash labor. They are struggling with food and uh, all that, those kind of stuff. True. And uh, getting a piece of uh, farm is very difficult. So what I'm trying to do is uh, renting a house, a small house. We do oyster farming because oyster is easy to cultivate. It takes short time. Mm -hmm. uh, within a month, you start harvesting. Yes. And then that way, it can support uh, it can support them and their children. Yes. Yeah. Because also when you talk about food security, there is where you can get a lot of mushroom because mushroom, they are very rich in protein. Uh, fiber and um, they, they, they have antioxidant which protects from cancer mm -hmm. yeah okay mm. so tell us uh, the steps to steps that come uh, on how mushroom are, are grown number one for for button mushroom mm -hmm. you need to buy wheat straw chicken manure uh, urea uh, and gypsum mm -hmm. uh, you need to make a compost making of compost you have to water the wheat straw for six days or depends with the, how you're going to soak the, uh, the, the, the wheat straw. Once they are wet, when they have lost the, the waxy layer, because our wheat so they have um, they are shiny on top. Yes. So once that has shed out, mm. now you introduce the chicken manure, mm -hmm. uh, wheat bran, mm -hmm. and uh, urea. And uh, the ratio is that uh, for every hundred uh, kg of wheat straw, yes, use forty kg of chicken manure. Mm -hmm. Use uh, five kg of uh, f uh, wheat bran use 2 kg of urea why is it important to have those ratios correct it is very important because uh from from my experience yes. because i was told that uh, oh you know if you have 100 bells put at uh, 15 uh, bags of uh, chicken manure and uh i end up putting a lot of stuff then when you put the seeds i don't get anything now i have spent a lot of money but then the day i don't get anything and uh, i came to learn a lot about mushroom that the mushroom compost, the mushroom, the, the mushroom seeds, yes. they don't need a lot of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. They only need two percent of nitrogen. So, so like, let me let me remove all of these things. Yes. And since the day I started like, using this formula, mm -hmm. I have never, I have never have any had a failure, had of, a failure of, a of a crop. Okay, then, mm. and after you've made your compost, after you made your compost, you take them to incubation. Yes. It will be there for two weeks. Mm -hmm. No, after making your compost, you take it to you have to treat it. How long do you make your compost? I take about 20 days. Okay, and by, then? And then from there I take it to a tunnel mm -hmm. to pasteurize, to, 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 to remove the micro, to kill the microorganism okay. and ammonia from the compost. Okay. From there I inoculate. That's Tell us more about the temperatures and the conditions inside the sterilization so raising, chamber. I will raise the, uh, the temperature to 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. Once it's at 60 degrees I maintain it for two hours. Okay. And then after that I switch off the, the boiler. Then I leave the the blower to continue, so that okay. it will continue reducing the temperature slowly up to 25. Okay. Once that 25, that's a good temperature for me to introduce now the the, the mushroom seeds. Okay. Yeah. Then you take them to the. Then grow I take house. them to the grow house. Mm -hmm. So I put them in the trough or in the bags. Yes. And then I put the seeds. I cover. 
okay. for two weeks and then after two weeks they they will colonize and then I put uh, the casing soil. Yes. Yeah, this is a black. Uh, the one that, on that we are seeing here on top. Seeing on top. Okay, yeah. tell us the difference between bags using bags as you've used here mm-hmm. and what you have in the grow house, which mm-hmm. is using the beds. What is the difference and what are the advantages? The advantage is the surface area. Mm-hmm. If I use the number for for the for the trough, the surface area. If I use a bag, the in between the spaces, mm-hmm. but on the trough, these are uh, you're using the entire space. So you're getting more. You're getting more mushroom mm-hmm. than, than bugs. Mm-hmm. The disadvantage on the trough is that when they get infection, mm-hmm. it, can it can spread. Okay. With bugs, it, you only have to remove one bug. Okay. But uh, for me, I'm, when it comes to the trough, mm. uh, you have to be very careful okay. because you want to get the maximum amount of your compost. Okay. So there's where you exercise a lot of a lot of professionalism. And how can people do that? Because you're offering them a side hustle and mm. something they can do by managing through phone farming. Mm. How do they make sure that they are very careful so that there are no mishaps in their investment? One one thing, uh, don't come to mushroom if it's a side hustle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make it, let it be your side, your main hustle. Okay. Because it's a very good, um, it's a very good venture. It's, uh, you can you can do a lot with the mushroom family. Okay. It's a very profitable um, venture. Mm-hmm. If you know, and if you have or you've worked with somebody who knows how to do mushroom farming. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about the much, ma, uh, button spoon and where someone can get it and how much it goes for, and including how many bags it can colonize. Uh, for you to get the mushroom mushroom spawn you can uh, talk to uh, if you if you're a member of uh, MCAC, uh, yes. that mushroom growth association mm-hmm. they will they, 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 the farmers they will help you to where you can get the spawn mm-hmm. because this spawn it's only a few people who import it from south africa and uh, come and sell it locally here. Mm-hmm. yeah okay. or uh, either go to this government institution like a uh, jake what mm-hmm. they can also give you where you can get the where you can get the spawn okay mm. Thank you so much. We are going on so well. Yeah. Now let's talk market. The price, yes. this is about the price. The price for every 15 k liters of uh, spawn, yes, it goes for 12,000. Okay. Yeah, and that can you can use that uh, to to grow on a 500 kg of a compost uh, of a wheat straw. Okay. So when you make it together, it comes to one ton. Eh? One ton. One ton. About. And that's about. around how many bales? Ah, that's about 50 bales. Okay. Uh, because you're adding chicken manure, which is about 200 plus this other thing plus water, so it'd be around one ton. Okay. Mm. Great. Now let's talk about when you've done everything and they've started pinning, and you can see the fruit of your labor. Mm-hmm. What happens next? Ah, uh-huh. when I start seeing that, I start looking. Okay, I have a market already because when I was starting that, uh, I used to buy mushroom from from other farmers. So for me to to create my client, my, my clients, so that when I start harvesting, I can sell it to this client. Mm. Because when you start start small, don't want to sell like a big. Start small, start with the either maybe a minimum of 100 bags, or go and get 50 50 bells and start from there. Not 50 bells, 500 kg yes. of wheat straw. Mm. Start there, and then uh, if you are in a mushroom association, mushroom growth association, there you you will get a, a lot of people who are also. Uh, uh, buying mushroom hmm. to go and sell, to go and distribute elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. Then, how do you pack it? How do you make sure that it has good shelf life? Do you do any form of value addition? I do a lot of value addition because uh, there is where so many people are failing. Okay. Because uh, we are all farmers want to sell mar- uh, mushroom in the same market. Yes. So if uh, the market fluctuates, if the market goes down, they all suffer. Yes. So for me. When the farmers are crying, yeah, I'm not crying. <laughs> um, but I'm like, are you guys? How? Well, What's how, the secret? What's the, the secret is that um, you, there's a lot of money when, when you do value addition. For example, making of uh, mushroom soup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, making of mushroom burger. Mm-hmm. That is another value addition. Because from, let's say, a pound of uh, oyster, you can make a, a minimum of, let's say, five cups of um, mushroom soup. Okay. And if you sell that cup, let's say, as, as low as 50 shillings. That'll be how much? Five fifty times five will be two hundred and fifty. Okay. But when you go to sell it at the market, yes. it'll be around one hundred and twenty. That's for oyster. That's for oyster. How much does button go for in the market, and which markets are these? It depends. Uh, there's a parkland market uh, where farmers are taking all their mushroom there. Mm-hmm. Now it depends. I will not tell you that today. Like today, the price was about one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifty. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, but it can also go low. 
has to 100 mm -hmm. sometimes it also go high i saw that it during it christmas yeah it can also go high but when the farmers are when you don't have a lot of farmers taking mushroom to the market yes. then mm -hmm. that, that's what happened they, the, the price will go up okay mm. tell us about um mushroom burgers that's quite interesting i hope i get to have a taste you show me how you cook it mushroom burger is easy to make okay. you only need mushroom okay yeah onions and um you call it coriander amazing um, what else I, I do train farmers if you want to venture into this so i, I take you through a training um from start uh, to when you're taking your mushroom to the to the market when the, when the value addition, I try to dry the, the, the oyster mushroom or the button mushroom. I make the powder or, so that I can mix it with, uh, with, uh, with flour. Or I take some, when somebody is making their sukuma wiki, they can use it instead of using the, is it, uh, the hoiko, or they can use that mushroom to add a, to add a nutrient on the, on the sukuma. Where and, can people get your burgers as well? <laughs> oh, uh, they can just uh, uh, baby place order. Then I can make for them. So Facebook, Shalimba? Frank Shalimba. Frank Shalimba. Yeah. Guys, go find him. We will also leave a link on his WhatsApp line on the comment down below. Mm. Let us know what you think. An expert in marketing of mushroom is with us today as well. A lot of you have been asking, Wangari, you tell us to grow these things, but we don't know where to find the market. And it is a skill indeed. So, Maurice, welcome to the show. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me over. It's an honor being on Farm on Fire. Thank you. Thank I am you. excited. <laughs> I am excited too. You've been my friend for yes, many, many yes, years. Yes, yes, yes. I remember when we were starting out oh, and forming the many, association. Many years ago. Yes. <laughs> Back then, people yes. didn't know a lot about mushroom farming. True, 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 true. But what has been your experience okay. for in regards to market and all market right. demand? That's all right. Uh, let me start by introducing myself. Yes. Uh, I go by many names. Mm -hmm. uh, some call me Maurice. Yes. Others call me Moses. But today you can call me the Mushroom Ambassador. Whoa. Yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, it has not been easy. Uh, I remember when we were starting, we were just a few farmers. We were struggling with market. Yes. Uh, so we decided to come together as mushroom farmers and try and uh, get this market that was quite elusive. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when we were doing the study, we found that, that uh, mushroom can make you a millionaire. Uh, but how can it make you a millionaire if you are struggling with market? Yes. Uh, so there were brokers that used to take mushrooms at very bad prices mm -hmm. and then go and sell to the supermarket and hotels at exorbitant prices yes so the consumer mm -hmm. is not able to get it uh, mm -hmm. at a good price yes uh, so uh, we decided uh, to follow these brokers and see where they take the mushrooms <laughs> and we found our mushrooms on the shelves in the major supermarkets in the country mm -hmm. so we decided to just bypass them and we go directly to the supermarkets okay uh, so we went and told uh, the managers yes. uh, the mushrooms that you're selling on the shelves mm. are ours Yes. And we can be able to <laughs> give them to you at a better price. Yes. So that's how we are able now to start uh, uh, gaining the market. Okay. Easily and slowly. Yes. And now we are supplying to Nivas and yes. we are doing car four. This is why I love my yes. Thelium Limited because yes. it's mushroom that has been grown by the Kenyan farmers. Exactly. So tell us, uh, because I'm also one of your distributors yes. for Oyster Mushroom. Yes, indeed. How can someone become part of that train of getting to be a distributor for Nivas and other big market good 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 uh, so the first thing you do we onboard you as a, one of our members as a mushroom grower association of kenya yes and now my cellia is a trading uh, company for mgk yeah so once you join mgk uh, how do you join well, uh, you first of all, you can find us on Facebook yes. or WhatsApp, mm -hmm. uh, and then we add you to our WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you register with 500 shillings yes. and a mem membership. Mm -hmm. uh, th but now we are going to change that. Yeah. Uh, we, you become a member. There are certain uh, there are certain subscriptions. You can be an individual, you can be a corporate, you yeah. can be a company. So there are different uh, categories for being a member of MJK. Right. Uh, so now once you become a member as an individual member, we link you with another farmer who has been growing for some time yes you see like now we, we have shalimba yes you can we can link you if you're nearby if you're area of uh kiamba yes. and banana mm -hmm. you, you join hands with shalimba and shalimba now trains you on how to grow the mushrooms okay fortunately uh, shalimba does both button and oyster mm -hmm. so there you'll be able to learn both 
uh, sure. because uh, the two varieties that we have, yes. they are the popular ones in the market, in yes. the country. Yes. Uh, so once you are trained now by a farmer, mm-hmm. then you start producing, uh, you start small as you grow. Yes. Uh, the beauty of being in a group is that even your two panets or your ten panets, they'll find market. Okay. You bring them to us, we, we because now we brand we brand them, uh, yes. we brand them ourselves. Yes. Uh, with the sticker, the mycelia and, Li- and foods limited. Yes. Then uh, we take now to the supermarkets. Okay. Uh, so basically, that's how you can join and become a member. Okay. Yes. Make sure that people get this label. So whenever yes, they indeed. go to the supermarket, <laughs> this is should be your first <laughs> yes, it's, it's, choice it's, it's, yes. in the shelves yes, because indeed. this is an aggregation of Kenyan. Of Kenyan mushroom. mushroom, yes, because we are having mushroom coming all the way from China, yes. some from India, mm-hmm. and others from Rwanda. Yes. But we have farmers who are growing them here in the country. Yes. Why should you buy something that is uh, not local? Buy Kenya, build Kenya. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. And I know you guys do a lot of background checks yes. and traceability oh, yes, so indeed. that you're making sure that your product is of quality. Yes, indeed. After we before we take your produce, after you've grown, yes. we have to visit your farm, mm-hmm. see the methods that you're growing with. And fortunately, as MGK, we are formulating a guideline yeah. whereby now all our members will be able to follow from step one to step to 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 the last one. Yeah. Because you find like uh, if you get because we have even farmers outside Nairobi, we have yeah. others in the western uh, western region. Yes. We have others in coast and others in the in in uh, in eastern region. Yes. But now you find if you get uh, one farmer from eastern and the one from central. Mm-hmm. The mushroom could be different because maybe of the method they they used, mm. the spoon they used. Mm-hmm. But now we want to aggregate all that into yeah. a guideline, yes. and we'll be used by all our members, such okay. that we can get uniformity. You want but to tell me if I'm in Moyale, I can still get yes. to my salient foods, yes. and you'll distribute for me? Yes, 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 definitely you can because uh, you can send via courier mm-hmm. uh, to Nairobi because most of the markets are in Nairobi, and then we can be able to sell. But fortunately for us, being listed in Naivas, the major supermarkets. Yes. You find their branches in those regions, True. so you can just directly take there. Uh-huh. Farm you even Moyale, even Kitale, even uh-huh. Eldoret, yes. because you have farmers in Eldoret, Nakuru, and they take to the supermarkets there using our brand. Okay. Yes. Give us your contacts. Okay. You can find us via Instagram, uh, mycelia underscore foods. That is M Y C E L I A underscore foods. Or you can find us uh, on uh, Facebook as my uh, MGK. That is uh, Mushroom Growers Association of Kenya. Okay. Then you can hit us up, and we can we can join up. We are also on Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, mushroom underscore GK. Okay. Yes. Guys, if you're serious about mushroom and you're just lacking market, please make sure you link up with them. They will sort you out. Yes. Thank you, guys.